It was a quiet, boring day. Only the desert winds disturbed our desolate community, warning us of the possible coming of another storm. Damn, I'm late. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to pay our final respects to a man we all know and love. A kind soul who had many friends. Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. It has become a dwelling place of demons, a haunt of every foul spirit, a haunt of every foul and hateful bird. I know the standard barrel rate's $20, but the town's running a little short. Will you settle for 10? Fifteen. I got expenses too, you know. All right. Well, we only have ten. We'll owe you five. Next time this happens, you get half a grand. And I cried unto the Lord, but why? And there was no answer. Only the cold silence of the grave. But who am I to question the wisdom of the Almighty Lord? I am but a mere mortal, a tiny grain of sand in the desert that is the Almighty, a speck of light in the cosmos that is God. Jesus Christ, you didn't even know the bastard. Let's go! O oh Lord, we believe in your promise of eternal life after we've been committed back to the earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, may God have mercy on your soul. Amen. 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 Yet another beautiful eulogy, Rev. I almost saw the heavens part. Yeah, kind of got me right here. Thanks, Rev. We'll take it from here. Craven, okay. let's get this crow bait in the hole. It's beginning to stink up the place. Sure, boss. Padre, you're still here. I believe there's the matter of my uh, Earthly compensation for performing the will of the Lord? Hmm, I thought there is. I, uh, seem to be a little short. Craven, got a couple bucks on you. Don't pay the man, you moron. Nice doing business with you. Raven, plant this guy. Right, boss. Shit. Here, get intimate with Mr. Shovel. Hey. Hurry up, you slug. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as I can, boss. It's awful hot out here. Could I have a drink? Oh, I'm sorry, my little disfigured friend. There's none left. I right, tell you what, why don't you and I go into town, 
and we'll get us a drink. Great, boss. And you're buying. But, but what about the body? Leave them. Um, buzzards and coyotes got to eat too. You know, Mr. Franklin, please, uh, call me Ben. Ben? I really, really enjoy your company. I just wish you'd come around more often. Well, uh, thank you, Hank, but, uh, you know what a recluse I am. Fact is, if it wasn't for our monthly chess games, folks around here would see even less of me. Well, I don't understand how you stay on top of your game. Well, well, I play with myself at home quite a bit. Aha! Looks like I finally got you, Ben. Check. <laughs> Hank, my good man, you fell for the King George gambit. Observe this. Check. And as much as I hate to say it, me. Dag, burn it, Ben, that's 119 games in a row you won. <laughs> well, you just got to keep trying. How about another game? Sure, Ben, but try and drag this one on a bit, will you? <laughs> <laughs> 